Welcome to Civil Engineering Fanatics. In this video, we will be discussing about the direct methods of soil exploration in geotechnical engineering. As we already know, soil exploration is a critical phase in understanding the unique characteristics and properties of soil at a specific construction site. Soil exploration initially starts with site reconnaissance, followed by determining what method or test are to be conducted on the particular site, followed by the comprehensive report regarding the conditions of the site and their status. There are various methods of soil exploration, which are majorly categorized as direct, semi-direct and indirect methods. We have already made a brief video regarding all the methods included in soil exploration in our before videos and the description will be provided in the link below. This video is particularly about direct soil exploration. Direct soil exploration methods involve physically assessing the soil to directly observe the sample or conduct test. The two main direct methods that will be discussed in this video will be the trial pit method and the con penetration test or CPT. The major process in soil exploration will be drilling, sampling and testing of the soil samples. Under a direct soil exploration method, all these three procedures will be conducted simultaneously. Number one is trial pits and trenches. Trial pits, also known as test pits, are a type of subsurface ground investigation that is used to visually determine the ground conditions before the construction begin. They are commonly employed to explore shallow ground conditions, especially when there are buried structures, variable conditions or contamination under the ground. Trial pits involve excavating pits or trenches either by hand or using a backhoe excavator, typically to a depth ranging from 3.5 to 4.5 meters. If the pit is deeper than 1.2 meters and intended for human entry, certain precautions against structural collapse need to be taken. These pits are cost effective compared to other methods of soil exploration like boreholes but have limitations to the depth it can move. Despite their quick excavation, trial pits can cause significant surface disturbances and pose challenges in filling them back properly once their purpose is served. As mentioned before, excavation method can be either machine-based or hand dug, with each having its own advantages and applications based on their site-specific requirements. Hand dug pits are often preferred for smaller scale investigation or areas with known subsurface structures. For instance, if there are known subsurface structures like utilities, water, electric cables, etc., then the test pits would be dug by hand, while machine excavated pits are suitable for greater depths over larger areas with potential ground disturbances. Despite their limitations offered, in case of depth, trial pits offer a rapid and relatively inexpensive means to understand the soil profile and assess the ground conditions, aiding in foundational design, contamination analysis, and other sampling methods. Various methods, including hand shear weight test, soak away test, and CBR testing, are employed within the trial pits to gather soil samples and assess ground characteristics in a more extensive way. Number two is corn penetration test or CPT. A corn penetration test CPT is a direct soil exploration method performed directly on the ground surface. The test setup consists of a corn penetration rig that pushes a steel cone about 32 mm wide into the ground to a depth of around 20 meters below the ground surface or until it touches a hard strata. The steel cone consists of an electronic measuring system that records the tip resistance and sleeve friction while penetrating the surface. The sensors in the cone tip measure the degree of resistance and the sensors in the friction sleeve measures the sleeve friction as shown in the figure. When cone is pushed into the ground, they come in contact with different layers of the soil that would respond with different degrees of resistance. 
This variation in resistance is recorded by the tip of the cone using force sensors. Simultaneously, the friction sleeve records the sleeve friction along a 100 mm length. In certain cases, the cone possesses a pore water transducer that would help to record the groundwater responses as a cone is pushed through the soils. On an average, the CPT test takes between 30 minutes to 3 hours for completion. During the penetration, the measurements are sent back to the rig and recorded on a computer for further analysis. The obtained data is called as trace. Geotechnical engineering specialist utilizes CPT test to comprehend the soil properties including relative density and soil behavior type. These properties are determined from cone penetration test cone tip resistance as well as the sleeve friction. Additionally, the results helps to predict how the ground will respond to various levels of earthquake shaking. If you like this video regarding direct methods of soil exploration, let us know your queries and doubts. For more videos related to construction and civil engineering, follow Civil Engineering Fanatics.